Hi everyone, welcome back to some more Final Fantasy XI online. Um, I've been away from this game for about two years. It was two years ago that I revisited the game after 12 years of not playing the damn thing. I missed it so much and I had an absolute blast and those videos did really well. So thank you to anyone who watched those. If you were here when I first uploaded them, that was two years ago. You were officially as old as I am. No, that doesn't... Wh whatever. The key thing is, I'm back. I've decided to renew my sub because the game is 20 years old this year. I'm just like, oh my god. If that doesn't make you feel old, nothing will. 2002, we are now in 2022. So I'm going to continue my character that I started, yeah, nearly two years ago now. Um, and we're just going to play more of the game because I felt like while I did show off a lot of what I wanted to do at the time, I, I ended it on a bit of a, a bit of a whimper. I think I was trying to get, I, I was on a ferry to, um, from Selbina and I died. And then I was like, you know what? That's enough for now. But I think it's time to return to Vanadiel, uh, to Anna, uh, to celebrate the Va Vanadversary. Is that what they're calling it? Anyway, Tetrex is my character. If you would like to see the beginning of this journey, uh, links will be in the description of the uh, of the playlist. But um, also different this time. I'm using a controller! I got it working! So, yay! I'm really not great with mouse and keyboard. And this game's controls... I mean, it's an old MMO. It, uh, it, is, it is not modern in any stretch of the imagination in terms of mechanics, design philosophy, and apparently Windows uh, Defender Firewall has blocked some features of this app, so I'm going to allow access. There we go. There we go. New challenge! Okay, so... Uh, just to quickly remind myself what the controls are. We are, of course, in Ronfer. Ron Ronfer? 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 Did I say that weird? We are in Ronfer, and, uh, it's still so freaking amazing to be here listening to this music again. Um, what I've done off-screen, quickly, uh, to kind of get back into the swing of things, I've literally been swinging my sword at some of the local critters, because I swapped to a great sword towards the end of my um, of my series, and my weapon skill was just complete trash. So I was missing enemies left, right, and center. So um, let's just we might as well reacquaint ourselves with Tetrex, uh, which was a name I picked as a kid. Uh, it's so it's so stupid, but I had to do it. Um, and, uh, yeah, we've got, uh, we are, we are level 20 warrior. Uh, we don't have, I, I don't think I've unlocked my second job yet, have I? I need to look into that. Oh, this music. It might be quite quiet for you guys, but... Oh my god, I love that music so much. Um, my combat skill, yes. Yeah, so, I've got, like, 15 great sword skill compared to the 54 sword skill. Which isn't, yeah, it's not good, especially if we're going into higher level areas now. Um, so, I, I, ideally, I either want to buy another sword, or just level up my great sword. So that's kind of what I've started to do. Um, yeah, we've we've not leveled any of our other jobs yet. I'm definitely going to look into that. But we are in the middle of a quest. Oh, hello, Pal Palcomondo. That's it again with the. The weirdest names. It's not quite as bad as Final Fantasy XIV. But, um, yes, yeah, so we're in Runfair. Uh, which one are we in, actually? Oh, it's so nice being able to play this with controller now. Because it was originally on PS2. Um, it was on 360 as well. So it is, you know, I think it really is designed with controller in mind more than it was keyboard and mouse. Um, where's my map? There's my map. Okay. Um,. Yeah, we're in West Ronfair, so I'm going to quickly nip back to Sandy. Um, because there's a couple of... I want to check out some of the shops. Uh, but we are going to be doing the Journey Abroad quest, which we have started, like I said. Uh, which basically means we need to go to the other starting cities. Uh, because my character started in Sandoria, however the heck you say it. 
And so we need to go to Bastok and Windhurst. And I think I'm going to go to Bastok first. Am I going the right way? Uh, I forget which one. Oh boy, it's going to take some getting used to it. Okay, I need to turn around. All right, it is this way. Um, we could kill some orcs on the way, but um, again, if you watch my previous videos on this game, you'll have seen me kill a lot of this kind of stuff. But it is so much nicer just being able to use a controller. I cannot stress enough. Oh, and there we go. Our great sword skill has reached level 16. Um, since I was killing a bunch of the critters around here, our records of eminence, which are basically kind of repeatable quests, it seems, to get XP. Just killing enemies in this area has netted me about 1,000 XP. Um, so that's nice. That's something that definitely wasn't in the uh, in the game I played as a kid. So we're going to head back into town because there's a couple of things I might want to buy before I embark on this quest. Um, I could also teleport to one of the zones. I think it's the Lethien Plateau. I think I got a teleport there. But honestly, because it has been, like I said, two years since I played this, I probably will have forgotten a lot of the things that I learned. So, uh, it's going to be an adventure though, and this might be heavily edited as well. I'm going to cut out a lot of the dead air because that's just part of the territory when it comes to an MMO, especially an MMO like this, which is very old school, and you uh, you walk around a lot. So, oh, the, the glow of the torches... Oh man, it's so cozy. It's it is. It's like coming home. Um, and because there's no, as far as I'm aware, there's no summer event on like there was last time I played this. There's no repetitive ass music, um, which I am I'm a fan of because I spent a lot of time complaining about that. I seem to remember when I first logged into this, which again it had been 12 years since I played this, and that first video that I did, of me playing this, uh, did exceptionally well. And I can't thank you all enough. Because I did it purely for myself, just to chronicle my return to this game that I loved very dearly. Oh look, we got another player, by the way. Hello, Alicia. Hi. Um, I've just realized... I think my control is inverted. I think it's slightly inverted. Config. Uh, mouse camera. Uh, I think the normal is actually inverted, so let me just put them both on inverted. I think that should be fine. Ah, that's much better. Actually, no, it might still take me a bit of getting used to. Anyway, um, I want to go to a shop, preferably. You know what? Actually, no. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to swap that back. That That doesn't feel right now. There we go. What if I invert both of them? Which is normal. Okay. I don't usually play inverted, but for some reason this feels right. Why does this feel right? I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, I just realized I'm in the wrong part of town. Uh, but honestly, just being uh, logged into this game again is such a joy. It's very nostalgic for me. Uh, and yeah, we've um, we've got our uh, trust party members. we got about three of them, I think. Um, yeah, we have Exxon Mill? 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 Venereal, I'm just going to call him Venereal. And Cornelia, which is the only normal name in the whole game. Uh, oh, we got more players there too. Sweet. No, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to change it again. Hang on. Hang on a minute. Right, I I'm just going to invert the, the x-axis. Okay, that's that's better. Wait, am I going the right way? Uh, No, I am not. I want to go... This way. Yeah, the thing I want to buy is I want to see if I can buy some pickaxes, which actually, come to think of it, how much money do I have? Um, 
We've got Flame Claymore, Lizard gear. We've got some Royal Footman Trousers, which I think I got from trading in my points. can't remember what they are called. Lizard Trousers, which I suppose I could sell, because I'm not going to wear those anymore. Um, we've got the Sardonyx Ring. Gives us a little bit of Flame element. And the Chariot Band, which I think I've used again to gain a bit more XP. Uh, we've got two Choker Passes, so I could rent another Chocobo, which I think I showed off last time. Um, and I think what I was doing at the end of the last video, if you will, was trying to get my Chocobo license, or heading to the place that gives you the Chocobo license, but I I died on the way. So, um, and I've got two special Gobby Dial keys, which is weird. But yeah, I want to see if I can buy some pickaxes. How much money do I have? Oh, I've got six and a half thousand gil. That might be enough. This is our uh, inventory, of course. Oh, man. It, yeah, it's, it's great just being back in this world again. I've been meaning to get back to this for a while because, again, the videos, people seem to really enjoy them. And, uh, yeah, I think um, I'm probably only going to upload these when I've when I've invested a good amount of time in it again. I don't want there to be a huge break between videos. So, um, but yeah. Quickly, quickly do this, and then we're going on a big, big journey. Uh, ah, the auction house. I've missed you. Right, so there should be some shops nearby. I don't know who, who would sell who would sell Pickaxes. Oh, Sundries, Tanner's Guild. You'd think, like, the mi a, a Miner's Guild. I don't know if there is one. Maybe the Armor Shop? I don't know. Let's just go in some random shops. And uh, see if we find what I'm looking for. Uh, also, apologies. If the, if the audio is slightly off, um, I might have to tweak it for future episodes. But, yes, I would very much like to spend a good good amount of time on this game again. It's it's very special to me. I, I Like I've said in my previous videos, I used to skip school for this game. Um, funnily enough, I'm in the very same room I used to play this back as a kid. Because uh, this used to be my parents' room. And I would sit in the corner just behind me on my mum's laptop, which was ancient and just <laughs> could barely play the thing uh, and I played it on a touchpad and it was horrendous but it was the best time some of my best gaming memories uh, for sure so let's check out the shop so we'd having to open doors right do you have any pickaxes it's not a, it's not the end of the world if they don't you've just got armor about you. Um, ah, they do sell pickaxes. Sweet. Okay, I'm gonna buy because I'm using uh, I'm using the wiki as a, as a guide because you basically have to if you want to play this game. Um, they recommend buying some pickaxes just in case for this next quest. So I'm gonna buy three, and uh, I'm gonna sell. I'm going to sell... I do have some water crystals, fire crystals. Probably not going to use those, but I think I can trade those in to... I can't remember the name of it. I'm going to have to look into that. Um, oh, will it not let me... Oh yeah, I can sell my lizard trousers. How much are they going to sell for? 251? Yeah, I'm not going to use them. And I'm not going to sell them at the auction house. Um, okay. Because uh, inventory in this game is very limited, so I need to make sure I've got room for stuff. Um, how much do the crystals sell for? Not much. Okay, god, I love this this sandy music as well. The bagpipes. I'm still turning the camera the wrong way. Anyway, right, so. I need to look up who I can talk to to teleport. I think there's a certain NPC that I can talk to that might get me a little bit closer to my destination. 
Now, I could probably actually go a lot closer, but I feel like I want to play this game like I did back in the day for the most part, which involves a lot of traveling, uh, which is part of the fun for me, is, is exploring this world and, and sightseeing and avoiding all the high-level enemies that can kill you in one hit. Um, so I'm going to quickly look up where I need to go and who I need to talk to. Ah, okay, it's this Roland guy. This is the guy you trade sparks for uh, equipment. Okay. And I have like 5,000 of them. So that's pretty crazy. I could get some more equipment here, but this is higher level stuff. Uh, I could get a level 20 scythe, but of course I'd have to rebuild up my scythe skill. So I'm not going to do that. Um, he's not the person I need to talk to for the teleportation. I'm just going to quickly check and see if I could get any better armor that I'm already wearing. Uh, I feel like I probably already do have the best stuff. Or is this guy just... Um, this guy just seems to be weapons, unless... Yeah, this guy's just weapons. It seems. Oh, yeah. Look at all this. Oh, no, no, he's got he's got armor as well. Okay. Just have to go through these pages. It's very... Uh, bit of a pain in the ass, really. But... Looks like, yeah, we might, we probably have pretty good gear, to be honest. So, um, we want to talk to Urbiolane. Urbiolane. To Unity Warp, which, um, we go to bring me to a wanted encounter area. Content level 99 and below. We can go to, we could go to South Gustaburg, which is very close to Bastok. And, uh, Ser Saruta Baruta, which I'm probably saying very wrong is near Windhurst. Now, again, I would like to maybe travel the traditional way. Um, so, we've been to the Lothian Plateau, you've seen me there, which, um, that leads to the Vulcan Dunes, which we've shown off, it's the, the beach area. Um, and then the Konstat, uh, Konstat Highlands, I can't remember if we've been to, but that's kind of in the direction we need to go. In fact, um, I've got some notes up as well, because with this game, I'm telling you, you need notes. Um, yeah, in fact, we could go straight to Cons... Uh, that would save us a little bit of time. Cons, cons chat, I can't say it. So, we're going to do that. Um, it's going to cost me 100 accolades, which apparently I have 1,700 of, so I don't mind. And it saves a little bit of uh, going through areas I've already been through. So... Yeah, we're, we're off to Bastok. Uh, and yeah, I don't remember if I reached this place last time. So, do we have a map of the area? I'm hoping we do. Oh, it's thrown us right in the middle of it. Um, there is a teleport crystal nearby at the Crag of Dem, which I don't know. We If, if I've been here, I may have grabbed it. If I haven't... Yeah, so the Volcom Dunes is where we would have come from. The Pasho Marshlands... I seem to remember, is that involved with um, a quest for to get a certain job at some point? I feel like I I did go there in the past as a kid. Uh, and uh, But if we go south, we'll reach North Gustaberg, so that's where we're going to head. But I think we'll stop off at the Crag of Dem first. Um, got a bunch of windmills around here. What kind of uh, enemy levels are we looking at here? we got a mad sheep. Let's check it. Easy prey. Okay, so this area isn't going to be too bad for us. Got a huge wasp. Easy prey. Okay, well, I'm not going to bother summoning my trust then at this point. Got a little sapling. That's adorable. Yeah, I think the mad sheep might be aggressive, though. They might be aggressive. Let's we'll see if we can piss one off. Hello, sheepy. And this will give me a chance to build up my greatsword skill as well. Are you going to fight me? No? Guess you're not aggressive. But I am. So, we're back. We're Final Fantasy XI chaps. And yeah, my greatsword skill is going to go up pretty quickly. If I fight a few of these things. Um, which is pretty cool. So obviously we need to build up our TP before we can use any of our abilities. Uh, I don't remember what abilities I've got. Mighty Strikes, Provoke, Berserk, Enhances Attack but Weakened Defense. Turns all uh, melee attacks into critical hits. 
Uh, we got weapon skill, hard slash. And that's probably all we have, to be honest. Uh, so I'm just waiting for a thousand TP. I should be able to use hard slash. Oh, a parry skill increased. Um, so yeah, my, my plan is currently is to just get this next nation quest done, which is uh, probably going to take us a while. And, uh, and then maybe try and get my Chocobo license. Uh, but I should also probably look into maybe leveling another job as well. So that we can have um, a secondary job equipped. It, it, I mean, I assume that's still how this works. I just can't remember what the quest is for that. Or how that uh, is achieved. God, it's, kill it's taken ages to kill this bloody thing. Probably again because my weapon skill sucks. We are missing so much. There we go. Oh, we got an Earth Crystal. And 420 XP. Damn, that's a lot of XP. We could we could gain some serious levels just by going around here and killing stuff. Um, but I don't really want to. Right, that's where we're heading. Um, what button did I allocate auto run to? L1. There we go. Uh, so yeah. Oh man, I'm hoping I'm hoping I can at least get a little bit further in the game to show off more of it. Um, if not for your benefit, for my benefit, I would love to have just a, an archive of, of of me playing this because you know back in the day I couldn't do that, and I wish I I wish I had been able to have done that because those are some of my best memories. I swear to God, so good. Um. And I still think this game's gorgeous. I really do. I I remember there being um, a mobile port of this in the works that I think was cancelled, sadly. Um, not that I would probably play it on mobile, because I don't play games on mobile. But it would have been cool to have more people experience this. Um, and I think one of the main reasons I, I just want to play this again is because it is 20 years old now. And who knows how long it's going to be around. Uh, it's still a paid sub. I, I There are still, obviously, people playing it. Otherwise, it would have been closed down years ago. But you just never know. So, um... Yeah, can I can I do anything with this, then? Hello, big potato. Telepoint. Alright, we obtained the, the Dem Gate Crystal. Okay, so I definitely haven't been here before. There's a Chocobo... I love, I love FF11's, uh, FF11's Chocobos. They're, they're, they're so skinny. Uh, if you wish to ride Chocobo, you must present a Chocobo license and have a high enough job level. Well, I could do. I could do, but I think we'll, we'll hoof it. Like I say, I'm pretty sure I showed off a Chocobo last time. Uh, now I need to head south, don't I? Look at that orc. Just, wait, is that an orc? No, that's, um, that's a different kind of beastman. That's a Kordav. Are you tough? Easy prey? I think I'm just going to fight this guy, because I, I don't think we've fought them before. Big old turtle dudes. He's casting water on me. Really didn't do too much. This is where I should probably actually just summon my trusts and make this a whole lot easier. Also, I need to remember that I need, I need to manually heal myself, um, which is a button on this controller. I don't know, again, what I've allocated it to. Let's go for a hard slash. Bonk. Um, yeah, let's get... Uh, so I think... We've got a paladin. Oh, you cannot use trust magic while having gained enmity. Oh well. Again, getting some good XP. Um, yeah, what is my heal button? That's my first person mode button. Oh, there we go. Left stick. Sweet. So, yeah, this is the bit that takes a while. Uh, but I, what I could do is yeah, summon my uh, trusts to make those fights a bit quicker. 
Although, uh, no, I'll, sum I'll summon them in the next zone, because we probably will need them in the next zone. Although I don't remember if, if, um... You know what? North Gustaberg might not be too bad, because it is very close to South Gustaberg, which is basically a starting zone, like Ronfair. So, might not be too bad. Um... Yeah, I just, I love these landscapes. I really, really do. It's just a shame that, like I say, more zones don't have music in this game. Because the music that it does have is, as you know, incredible. But uh, I hope you're going to enjoy this little, uh, it's going to be a nice chill series, I think. And that's, that's kind of uh, what I wanted with, you know, my initial uh, playthrough of this game, even though it was only, I think I only did like 12 videos. But, uh, but yeah, people, you, you guys seem to really enjoy it. I, I can't believe how popular those videos were. Um, also, I just realized, yeah, I'm wearing a green shirt and I'm using green screen. It's probably not the smartest thing to do, but it's all right. We've got Rock Eater. Uh, am I going the right way? No, I have gone the very wrong way. But hey, it's all exploration. It's all a bit of fun. This will take a while, so I may not show all of this. Like I say, if there's any dead air, I'll probably just cut it out. But uh, if you are enjoying this and you are excited to see more of me playing this game, please do let me know in the comments. And uh, maybe subscribe or like the video if you've enjoyed it. I don't know. I suck at self-promotion. Look at those windmill things not quite loading in properly. Oh man, I love this world so much. And don't get me wrong, I love Final Fantasy XIV. I have spent many, many hours of my life on that game as well. Uh, probably more so than this, at this point. But um, FF11 just has a different feel to it. It feels much more dangerous, much more um, adventurous in a lot of ways. Uh... Not to say either of them is, a, is the wrong approach, because it's just FF... 14 is such a modern MMO, obviously taking a lot of influence uh, from World of Warcraft. But, uh, but I'm just so glad that this game is still available to play. E even though it's a bit of a pain in the ass to get it all set up, I must admit. Uh, hello, Mist Lizard. Am I going the right way now? Yeah, okay, so just follow this path, basically. Um... And I'll worry about healing in a little bit. We're probably not going to be doing much fighting now, so. Uh, but yeah, we need to get to Bastok. Uh, I need to talk to a certain NPC. I, I have definitely started this quest, haven't I? I definitely have, right? It's in missions, nations, journey abroad. That's my current mission. Visit the faraway nations of Bastok and Windhurst. Okay. That's fine. Oh, but yeah, this is going to be just so much easier for me to play without worrying about keyboard and mouse bullshit. I'm a console fanboy. I'm a console kid. But you can like both. You can like both, guys. I just prefer controller. Because I'm basic. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that marshland that we saw briefly. I, I, I don't know whether it was that area, but it was a marshy kind of area that I went to, I think, to unlock... I'm not sure if it was Dark Knight or something. Could be completely talking out my ass there. Uh, again, I'm trying to remember something that was about 14 years ago. So, uh, yeah, don't, don't quote me on it. In fact, no, it's probably more like 16 years ago um, that I did that sort of thing. Man, oh man. 20 years old. This game is 20 years old. Just blows the mind. Right. Lovely blue skies in the uh, in the highlands today. Is this that big area that I need to get to? Yeah. And this is the, that's the thing. These areas are huge. When you don't have a chocobo. And even... even with a Chocobo license, I think you still have a limited time on the Chocobo before it kicks you off. 
I'm pretty sure that's how it works. But, uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it takes a while to get around. So it is cool that they've added all that teleportation stuff. So that certainly wasn't a thing. At least I don't remember it being a thing when I played it. If you wanted to get somewhere that was through really high-level territory, you just had to ask one of your Link Shell pals that were higher level than you to, to drag your ass kicking and screaming through it. Um... Oh, it was, it, but that's it, it. It sort of instilled a great sense of community, though, with, with that kind of thing. And oh man, I, I wish, I wish I could go back and play it back in its heyday again. That would have been so cool. Oh, we got another one of these things that I think's to do with another expansion. Right, we're nearly there. Oh, it's still not quite there yet. I need to go left. Need to go left. Here and then to the left, I think. This is very quiet. <laughs> it's very quiet. But I think there should be music in the next zone. There should be some music in the next zone. I would think. I don't really remember it. I don't remember the Bastok music too well. I remember the the uh, Windhurst music. But um, in the Bastok area, there are a lot of mines, and I think as part of this quest, we're going to have to go into some mines, which is where the pickaxes are going to come into play. All right. Am I... Oh, I nearly, I nearly went the wrong way there. <laughs> I nearly went the wrong way. Okay. So we're nearly out of this place now. Um, I think uh, going on the ferry, I think that be, that might be how you get to Windhurst. So we we you, we might try the ferry again and hopefully not die this time. I think I got killed by uh, was it a giant octopus or something? Oh hey, Atomos, looking scary as ever. Right. Here we go, North Gustaberg. Yeah, oh, I do remember this music. It's very rocky and uh, and dry in Bastok. Which is just why I preferred always to start in Sandy, because it's all green and lush and, you know, proper, like, medieval. Hello. What's your name? Buts Butsutsu. <laughs> Butsutsu. Uh, so I could make my home point here. I don't think there's going to be much risk of me dying. I'd rather keep my home point in Sandy, because it'll take a... Then again, I could just teleport. I'm not going nah, to make my home point here. I shouldn't die in this area, unless it is way higher level than I anticipate. But it's, uh, it shouldn't be too bad. Alright, what kind of critters are we going to run into around here? I seem to remember there being a type of lizard. Was it Leaping Lizzie? I may have mentioned it before, actually. In a previous video. That was like a notorious monster that you could get some really good... I think it was boots or something from it. But everyone camped it, so as soon as it spawned, someone killed it immediately. And I never managed to get the drop from it. I have no idea where it spawned, but it was around Bastok. Too weak to... Yeah, so pretty much everything in here is going to be too weak. Oh, we got bridges. Let's check the map. Uh, okay, so how do I get to Bastok? I guess I think I have to go to South Gustaberg. Doesn't look like there's an entrance into Bastok from here. So I think we'll just head south. We'll cross the bridge and head south. And just admire the view. I might look up Leaping Lizzie and see where it spawns. That might be fun to try and kill, because I imagine not many people will be farming it these days. It'd be pretty cool if I could get the drop from it finally. Uh, we got Amber Quadav. Guessing you're going to be weak too. Yep, too weak. Ah, 
Sorry if I go quiet. I'm just really enjoying basking in this uh, trip down memory lane. And I tell you what, if we if we had done this whole this whole journey on foot like I did back in the day, it would have taken way longer. Ooh, we got a pink flying enemy. What's that? Is a vulture? Kind of want to fight the vulture just because. It's pink. Come here, you. And that's the annoying thing. If there are an enemies moving, you can't... You can't freaking do anything. But again, if I can just get my greatsword skill up a little bit... Because I would like to main greatswords. I just love them. In any RPG, I love greatswords. Big, big, chunky weapon. Two-hander. You know, because I'm used to I'm used to handling big, big weapons like that, in real life. Uh, right, there's an outpost over there. I suppose we could pay a visit to. Are you going to aggro me, sir? Nope. Kind of a name is Tetrex, though. I don't know what I was. Th I thought that was the coolest name as a kid. I was like, oh my god. I used to design my own. RPGs and do like menu screens for them on uh, Microsoft Paint and I'd always have Tetrix be one of the characters because I thought it was just the best thing ever. Ah, oh, to be a kid again and to be woefully unaware of how shit the things you do are. <laughs> now I'm probably too much the other way where I think everything I do is shit when it's probably not. But anyway. Right, um... Let's have a word with this guy. Oh, it's these books as well. These are the things that can give you uh, quests, aren't they? Some of them do, anyway. Hello. Kuwari Aori. Send my hope point. Yeah, nah. Do you do anything? Nice hat, dude. Welcome to the border shop. Um... I'll add the value to your... Re oh, yeah. So this is this is how... Yeah, we can trade equipment to this guy. And we can get uh, stuff. So if I trade... Let's just see if I can trade him. Oh, if I, I wish I hadn't sold that thing now. Um, I'll trade him a, an earth crystal. Is this how it works? Oh, you only want weapon shields or armor. Oh, yeah. I should have. I shouldn't have uh, sold my lizard pants. Oh well. Cancel. Uh, right. Okay. All around this way. You know what? Since we're here. Since we're in this area, I'm actually going to look up where Leaping Lizzie spawns. Because I I've, I think we might as well try and kill it now. Especially since I have my trusts with me. So if it is high level, we should be able to deal with it. I just don't remember if it is high level. 